Hello. We are discussing about Gate 1992 ECE paper, and this question is related to digital circuits. Look at the diagram shown. The figure shows the circuit of a gate in the RTL family. The circuit represents which gate? A NAND gate, B AND gate, C NOR gate, D OR gate. Which will be the right answer for this one? So the gate realized by this circuit is that we are going to find. So that is nothing but you must express V0 in terms of V1 and VI1 and VI2. So if you are able to express V0 in terms of VI1 and VI2, then we can tell about the uh, which type of relation it has so that we can identify the gate. So look at this one. I am going with an intermediary node. This is. So it is going to be something as Vx. Okay. And this is instead of this Vx also you can go. So don't go for this Vx. So directly we are going in this way. So these are Vi1 and Vi2. These are the input combinations you are applying. And based on that one, assume that one this is Q1. This is Q1 and it is Q2. This is Q3. So Q1, Q2 and better to have Vx over here. Okay. So Q1, Q2 voltage across that intermediate node Vx. Okay. Voltage across that intermediate node it is Vx. And next we are going with what is the operation of Q3 whether it is on or off and later from that one we are going to write V0. Okay. So this is going to be the table we are going to fill. We are filling this table. So from this table we are going to identify what is the relation between V0 in terms of VI1 and VI2. From that one we are identifying the type of gate. Okay. So first let us assume VI1 and VI2 are going to be 0, 0. Whenever they are 0, 0 the Q1, Q2, Q3 all are going to be N NPN transistors. For NPN transistors if you apply logic 0 they will be in the off condition. So Q1 will be in the off condition and Q2 will also be in the off condition. Whenever they are in the off condition at that time they act as open circuit no current flows through them. That implies nothing but there is no current flowing through this resistor. So VCC is going to be directly applied across Vx. Vx will be treated as VCC. And whenever VCC is going to be applying that will be treated as logic 1. And by that time Q3 will be in the on condition. Q3 will be in the on condition. So whenever Q3 is in the on condition it act as short circuit. So that output will be connected to ground. Ground implies nothing but 0 volts. Okay ground means 0 volts. Now we are going for the other combination. The next combination we are going with is nothing but 0 1. If it is 0 1 okay by that time Q 1 is connected with 0 so that it will be in the off condition but Q 2 is going to be in the on condition. Whenever Q 2 is in the on condition at that time it act as on switch so that entire current is going through the transistor. The transistor takes the entire current which is coming from the VCC since it is acting as short circuit so that Vx is going to be connected to the ground okay Vx is going to be now connected to the ground through Q2 now because of that one you are applying logic 0 for the NPN transistor that makes Q3 is in the off condition that makes V0 is equal to VCC okay and next if you are going with 1 0 combination for 1 0 combination also here Q1 will be in the on condition, Q2 will be in the off condition and Vx will be again in the zero because now Q1 is on that is nothing but it act as short circuit Vx is connected to ground through Q1 so that again the Q3 will be in the off condition and it is connected to output is connected to VCC okay next last condition is nothing but 1 1 where both Q1 and Q2 are in the on condition by that time also Vx will be zero and Q3 will be in off condition and output is connected to VCC. So this is what you are going with. Okay. So if you are going to specify it with a small table, let us assume this is VI1 and VI2, it is what V0. From that one, we are going to say like this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For these combinations, 
what you are getting is nothing but for 0 0 you are getting 0 for 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 that implies nothing but it is simply R gates so this two table is nothing but simple R gates okay with VA1 and VA2 are going to be inputs we know that one for a R gate if both the inputs are going to be zeros then only output will be zero okay if at least one of the input is going to be at logic 1 output will be definitely at logic 1 so the gate is nothing but R gate so the answer for this one is D the circuit shown in a RTL logic family represents an R gate to input R gate thank you